Thanks, Catherine. Uh, hey, Freddie. Um, were you around much at Leicester when when Jordan Murphy was still there? I'm just I'm just wondering what kind of influence he was on you in the early days. Yeah. So my first year out of the academy, Jordy was head coach, and um, we did a lot of work together. Obviously, you know, Jordy was an incredible fullback um, for Ireland and for Leicester, a bit of a Leicester legend. So to have him sort of mentor me for that year was was really important, and he was very influential in in sort of teaching me, you know, all about fullback and and tips here and there and, and it was great to have him. Is there one tip that, that uh, is the tough question, but is there one tip that stands up and most in your mind that Geordie gave you? Definitely. When I'm in the air, he always is a big believer in high hands. He, he reminded me every single time I went out for a high ball, he said high hands. Um, that was his big thing. So I remember that and I've taken that, <laughs> taken that on. Developing some of his skills as well. He was quite the player, wasn't he? You, 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 you'll, you'll have ambitions to play like he did. Yeah, definitely. Jordy was, was unbelievable. You know, he had everything. He could kick the ball well. He ran the ball well. He, he was unbelievable in the air. So, you know, he's a, he's a brilliant sort of guy who helped me massively for a year and, and a guy I can sort of base my game on. Uh, final question. Do, do you think the kicking test this weekend will be similar to the one that Wales posed? Are, are you anticipating uh, as many high balls as you got a fortnight ago? Um, you never know. You know, you never know what the opposition game plan is going to be. Um, obviously, they've got the likes of Sexton, um, a great kicker of the ball, and and some wingers who can get after it in chase. So, you know, there, there definitely will be a test in in the, that aerial battle this weekend. But that's definitely something to look forward to. Cheers, Freddie. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Charlie Morgan. Well, so I was going to ask something pretty similar to what Nick just did, but um, could you, it seems to me that Eddie's kind of framed this game a little bit like the South Africa game that ended your guys' autumn. Does it feel like you've built up in a similarly intense way? I know all, all your build-up's intense in its own way. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that South Africa game was, was was a brilliant week for us in terms of building, training well in the week and then and then laying down the performance at the weekend. And, you know, we've attacked this week the same way. You know, we've got a big opportunity this weekend against Ireland. Um, it's, it should be a great game, you know, great players there. So, you know, we're really excited. We've trained hard this week. We've had a great week um, on the pitch. We've trained well. So we're really excited for the challenge this weekend. Appreciate it, Freddie. Thank you. Yeah, hi Freddie. Um, Eddie's been talking about this game being a semi-final. I mean, how realistic do you think winning the championship is at this point? Yeah, no, I think that's that's been a brilliant way to look at it. And for us, it gives us a real, you know, sort of something to look forward to and something to attack, you know, giving it that sort of semi-final nature. Um, it's sort of that knockout feel, um, so, you know, so it's, it's something really exciting. Um, I think, you know, if, if we win this game, obviously we go to the next game. But for us at the minute... All eyes is on Ireland. You know, we're, we're attacking this semi-final um, and, and that's all we're focused on at the minute. Eddie's been saying how courageous you are under the high ball and compared you to, to Mike Brown. I mean, can you give us some sense of how much courage you need to kind of take these bombs which are probably coming your way courtesy of Irish Boots? Yeah, but the more, the more you sort of start to think about it, um, it, it becomes a bit terrifying. But... I almost feel like the less I think about it, the easier it is because, you know, as soon as you start to think about bodies flying into you and, and, and guys coming in in the air and all that contest, that's when you start to hesitate and, and maybe, you know, when you're going up in the air thinking, oh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. But I think if you take everything out of that and just think, I'm going for the ball here, that's all I'm concerned about, then, <laughs> you know, the rest of it is just, it just happens. And do you feel the guys have to step up a gear after Wales or, or how do you approach this game? Oh, definitely. You know, we're always looking you know, for, for improvement and always looking to take the next step. We're attacking the gap always. So, you know, we've, we've reviewed the Wales game. We've, we've sort of targeted areas that we feel, feel we can work on and get better at and, and put that in place this weekend. And just finally for me, the Ukraine flag's going to be flying over Twickenham this weekend. It's, it's quite a statement, isn't it? I mean, what are your feelings about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, what's going on over there is terrible and, and the whole team's thoughts are with everyone in Ukraine at the minute. It's, it's a very sad time. Um, and it's a great gesture for, from England Rugby at the weekend. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks. Do we have any further questions? Adam Hathaway, please. Yeah, just a quick one for me, Freddie. Eddie said that um, it took you four, you guys four weeks to get back to where you were before the South Africa game. I know it's the way of the world with the calendar and things like that, but is that frustrating in, in its own way? Yeah, it, it is frustrating because, you know, an environment like this, you bring you bring players in from lots of different clubs and you have very quickly to get on the same page 
um, and gel and be able to play together. So it, it has taken us, you know, a while to get going, which which is frustrating. But you know, we feel like we're getting getting to where we want to be now, and we're really pushing and developing and getting better.